Hey everyone, it's Dr. D, and I'm going to be showing you how to use a really cool web tool called Tor Builder. Tor Builder is kind of like a branch off from Google Maps where you can create a virtual tour and pinpoint places on the world map for your students to show, for your students to go to, and for your students to create their own tour. I really love this tool because it can be applied across several different subject areas and I think you're going to love it too. So you're going to want to go to the URL tourbuilderwithgoogle.com. Now you will need a Google Gmail account. As you can see, my Gmail account is logged in, so this is a requirement. Once you've done that, you've logged into your Gmail, then you'll go to this screen here and it will show you a quick overview of what Tour Builder is able to do. Um, and then once you are in this space, you can watch video and you can create your own tours. So this link here, it says my tours. You click on that link, you'll see all of your tours, tours that you've shared. Uh, the gallery will show you other people's tours and I'll give you a little bit of information about Google tours if you click on the about button here. So let's get started with, uh, my tours. This is where you start creating. Click on my tours. You can see I already have a tour that I created. Hopefully you've gotten a chance to look at that or talk about shapes around the world. And then you can start creating your new tour. So you just click on this button here, create new tour. You will name your tour. Let's say I wanna go and talk about my vacation. And create. Now we're started. We're in the tour tool going to look really familiar uh, to Google Maps and we can see it looks like it has a slide layout on the left hand side. So this first introductory slide here is just an overview of what your story is about. So this is about my summer vacation. So if you're doing a back to school activity this can be a lot of fun for your kids to talk about where they've been over the summer and the places that they've gone to. So I'm gonna start my tour by adding a location and I actually went to my first stop. Oh, no, actually, <laughs> I went to Lassen in California. Lassen Mountain, it's a volcanic national park. It was so much fun, so I just click it in. You see that I couldn't remember the name at first, but then it just gave me some options. Yay, and it popped up. Look how easy that was, so much fun. So I'm gonna add that to my tour by clicking on this button. So that was my first day, and I can add some more information here. I went in June on the 30th. It's 2018. Then it, um, I can add this information. I want to tell my audience a little bit more about I went to visit my friend Gail in her cabin. It was awesome. All right. Then what we can do is we can add a new location. So I, after I went to Lassen, I then went to Maine and I went to an awesome place called Kennebunk. I really was curious about Kennebunk Port. I've heard so much about it. Oh, there it is, Kennebunk Port, Maine. And I'm gonna add it to my tour. So we can zoom out and see the actual travel that I've gone so far on my journey. Just clicking on this zoom out menu, you can get a bigger scope of how far I've traveled so far. Now you can also drill down into specific locations. Um, so let's do that. And after I went to Kenny Bunk, so much fun. I went to visit my family in Boston. Um, again, this is optional. You can add the date, optional. I'm just gonna put in a date just to add to the story here. Okay, and then I went to go visit my parents and we went to the Paul Revere house in Boston, Massachusetts. If you don't know about Paul Revere house, well, it's a very historical place. 
um, in Boston where you get to learn the history of Paul Revere and see his home. Ah, there it is. You just took so long, didn't you? I have to be patient sometimes. And it popped up. So much fun. And I'm adding that to my tour. Again, you can see all of the distance. And now with my math students, I might want them to estimate the distance of travel. I and I can have them just talk about their journey and their vacation and after they can narrate it. Let's say I'm actually writing the story of Paul Revere. Well, I can include that in my tour. And that'll give me a better context of that famous midnight ride that he took to warn the his fellow community members that the British are coming. And that was the start of the American Revolution. Um, I'm not a history person, but I do did grow up in Massachusetts. Anyways, um, a really fun tool. I know you guys can really get creative and start building some awesome journeys for your students to learn about history, science, social studies, math. I mean, the, it's, I'm excited to hear your ideas. So have fun with Google Tours and start creating.